Now, the man accused of the worst atrocities in Europe since the Nazis has said he should be praised for his efforts. The former Bosnian Serb leader, Radovan Karadzic, began his defence at the International Tribunal in The Hague by denying all ten charges he faces. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilson, reports. In Sarajevo, a monument to the 1,400 children who died in the siege of the city. Many were killed by shells fired from the surrounding mountains controlled by the Bosnian Serbs. But the Bosnian Serb leader, testifying at the International Criminal Court in The Hague today, has a different version of events. Sarajevo is my city. And this whole story, any possibility that we bombed Sarajevo for no reason, is absolutely unfounded. Each shell that fell on Sarajevo hurt me personally. In February 1994, 68 people were killed when a shell landed in a marketplace in central Sarajevo. But in the world, according to Radovan, this scene was staged by scattering corpses lifted from a morgue and clothes shop mannequins. It wasn't possible to hit that place or cause such damage, considering the tables and other obstacles there were. It was shameless orchestration. Obviously, some people got killed by that explosion, but we also saw mannequins being thrown onto trucks, creating this show for the world. Srebrenica. No, up to 8,000 men and boys were not taken away and murdered by the Bosnian Serbs. The killers were not under the military command of General Ratko Mladic and the political control of Radovan Karadzic. In fact, they weren't killers at all. There was no indication that anybody was killed in Srebrenica or after that. I never once received any information about that, neither verbally or in written form. Outside the court, relatives of the victims gathered to protest. But Radovan Karadzic's testimony may continue for months or even years until the court reaches its verdict and the history of the Bosnian war is finally laid to rest.